everybody, it's Alex here with another video today. Um, I am part of the website chickapproved.com and if you know anything about that website, you know that Megan Hart's Makeup here on YouTube is a co-founder of that website. She put up a video yesterday, I think it was, um, about something that they're doing on Chick Approved and I thought it was a really cool idea. Um, basically what it is, is talking about where you're from and what the, uh, the style is there or what it's sort of, um, what the what people think the style is there anyway and then talking about how your style sort of reflects that or how it clashes and I kind of thought this would be a really cool idea to introduce you guys to where I'm from and where I'll be taking you back to um, when I go home to Australia so I've got, I, she said film in front of a landmark so obviously I can't because I'm here in the UK so I've actually got this calendar that my parents sent me so I'm going to hold it up and show you I come from a town called Foster Tuncurry um, on the New South Wales Mid-North Coast. I'm not afraid to tell people this. Um, yeah, this is it. This is Foster and this is Tunkari. Um, yeah, this is where I'm from and this is exactly what it looks like. So we'll go quickly through this and then I'll just, as we're doing it, I'll discuss the style. Um, you're probably going to pick up what the style is. So the first month is January on the calendar and this is um, people uh, canoeing on Wallace Lake. So there's that there. Um, so, you know, it's obviously a very warm part of the world. I mean, Australia is a very warm part of the world anyway, but fosters, you know, are a good reflection of that. Sorry, this blue tack on these. Little bit of um, this should show you that it's quite tropical. This is a storm coming in over Wallace Lake. I think this is a really amazing photo. Um, so this is Tunkari. No, maybe that's Foster. No, I think that's Foster over there. With the storm coming through, we get incredible storms. Um, I quite enjoy watching the storms roll in. This is the Tunkari Rock Pool with people snorkeling. Yeah. This is um, looking over Wallace Lake on the Foster side, I think. God, this is really bad. It shows that I've been gone for a long I'm sure. I'm pretty sure that's the Foster side. If someone's watching this and is from Foster Tunkari and realises that it isn't, please feel free to call me out. Anyway, this is the ocean baths in Foster. Yeah. So I obviously live on the Foster side of things. This is Foster Tunkari Coastal Patrol. So I'm thinking that you're going to get the gist of what the, the style is here. The marina in Tunkari. Basically, Foster Tunkari is a very small coastal town. So basically that means beaches. Um, lots and lots of beaches. You can be anywhere in Foster and be like a five minute drive from the beach. Um, you can see that there's just, there's an abundance of beaches. This is Main Beach. This is Pebbly Beach. I think, I'm not really, you know, I'm pretty sure that's right. Main Beach, Pebbly Beach. Um, yeah, there's, there's hundreds well, there's not hundreds, there's loads of, of beaches and then there's, you know, loads of little, like, spots that people go anyway. So, this is basically it. I'll just quickly show you the rest of the photos. Basically, that's what pe all the tourists do over the summer and some of the locals as well. It's a real tourist hotspot. Um, the Christmas lights up on Pilot Hill. Yeah, so that's it. So, basically, it is a coastal town. When people ask me whether it's a lot of people over here ask me is it more like home and away or neighbours it's, it's a lot more like home and away i.e. scenery wise not so much well I guess we've got a pretty good amount of drama as well but not as much as they do um, so basically I am from a coastal town I'm from Australia so in general people think that Australians are tall, blonde um, swim, surf the amount of times that I get asked if I can surf is incredible um, yeah beachy weather it's hot all the time it's warm all the time like it's, compared to the UK it's warm all the time but we do still feel the winter um, you know so yeah basically my perception of what people think that Australia is is surfing beaches warm weather everyone wearing you know sort of all the time um, thongs all the time, as in thongs for your feet, not anything else, don't get the wrong idea. Um, yeah, people just think that we're a very laid back, beer drinking, surfing society. That's true for some people, but it's not true for me. I owned maybe about half a dozen dresses before I came to the UK. I lived in jeans all the way through high school, um, pants all the way through high school, wore them to school every day. Um, I don't own a bikini 
at all. I don't like swimming. I don't enjoy the sea. I don't enjoy the ocean. Um, yeah, I don't like it whatsoever. I don't own swimwear at all. Um, you will not find me out laying in the sun. I cannot surf, which should come as no surprise to anyone who knows me because I've got no balance at all. Um, so yeah, my style is now it is it's evolved into laid back vintage flowy sort of feels I never have my shoulders uncovered so it's a lot of cardigans and layering um, light layers obviously so that it's breathable um, yeah my style is, is vintage-esque I would like to think it's a little bit eccentric maybe with the colors that I wear I like bright bold colors I'm not a brand person a lot of when I was growing up people wore a lot of um, Australian you know surf brands because my town is full of surf shops so Billabong, Roxy, Quicksilver um, you know things like that I don't own anything like that anymore um, and it doesn't interest me I don't want to buy something just because it's a brand or it's a surf brand so that's basically it so my style I think really clashes with where I'm from um, in the, you know, in the aspect of being beachy, sort of shorts and everything like that, short skirts, short dresses, um, swimwear, I don't wear anything like that. So I feel that my, my style is very different to where I'm from. But I hope you enjoy where I'm from because I can't wait to get back there and film some videos, you know, from some of these landmarks. I'll take you up to Pilot Hill on a really windy day and film a video because <laughs> it's always windy up there. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, go and check out Chickapoo because there's really, you know, there's really cool things on there and I like putting my style photos up there. And then go and rating everybody else's. So until next time, I'm Alex. I'll link my Chickapoo below and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.